So this was, this was a workshop about data protection in international organizations. It actually brought together um, lawyers and data protection officers from uh, 36 organizations. So we are very proud to have hosted them all here in IOM. We had about 70 participants, so we see that as a very big event for us. Well, I learned a lot, especially from the, the, the final session today about international organizations because I think that the, the, the relationship between the GDPR and the work of international organizations uh, is subject to a lot of questions still, so that helped clarify some of the issues. I think the overall aim was to bring together international organizations who had common issues of data protection uh, and they were facing um, you know, the, the, how, how to protect the, the, the data they were collecting and I think that the idea initially was that they could meet together and share best practices. Um, the EDPS was just a facilitator of making that happen. I think that um, with, with time it's grown into something um, e e even more professional. I think that the, the aim A is, is to establish a network but then obviously um, to address current challenges and to discuss how international organizations are addressing the challenges uh, they're faced with in the light of new technologies and how data protection, although not a priority for their activities, is nevertheless very important. Um, as, as an organization. What was very fascinating for me was to look at uh, the, 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 uh, the angle from the point of view of international organizations of analyzing new technologies. So the session on uh, cloud uh, and cloud-based solutions for international organizations was incredibly interesting. Uh, it's an area that brings um, uh, lots of challenges from a data protection point of view but also from an angle of privileges and immunities of international organizations and this is highly relevant for the work of international organizations particularly considering how privileges and immunities can in fact be considered as a first line of defense of personal data and protection of personal data for the individuals that we as humanitarian organizations are there to protect, uh, to protect and assist.